Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and this is one of my favorite, 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 favorite crisps from when I was a child. They're absolutely amazing. They are Monster Munch, and they come in three really cool flavors, which I'm going to quickly review them for you. First one they've come in is Pickled Onion. Now, these are reconstituted chips. They have these funny, funny, uh, uh, what would you call, shapes that are shaped like monsters. Big giant arms, massive body, two little legs, and... This is, I think, a relatively new flavour. I don't know if they had Flaming Hot when I was a kid. I think they had salt and vinegar. So I think it was pickled onion, salt and vinegar, and roast beef. But they've changed the salt and vinegar for Flaming Hot. And here's the roast beef flavour with the pink monster. I definitely remember it being salt and vinegar. And I'm, I, people can question that, but definitely I think Flaming Hot is a new flavour. So let's try them. They were always pretty spicy, pretty uh, salty flavours. So let's see what we got here with the pickled onion. Immediately, wow! They smell amazing. Just the smell coming off them is incredible. They're quite a greasy chip. Um, they're a reconstituted, like um, like a cheesy puff type crisp. Um, they're very crunchy. And um, rather than being powdered with some flavor, they're kind of cooked in a flavored oil, it would seem, or flavored with an oil afterwards. And they're extremely acidic, these ones. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, yeah. The taste difference between these and salt and vinegar wasn't too far, I guess. So Flaming Hot's a different story. Mmm. You want roast beef? No, it's just out for breakfast. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm trying these yummy. Mmm. Okay, I'm not going to eat the whole packet. Mmm. Let's try the flaming hot. I'm expecting this to be slightly spicy. Let's have a look. Um, Colour, very, very, very... You can see that it's almost ingrained all the way into the crisp the flavouring there, and it's completely different colour. We compare it to the pickled onion flavoured crisp, totally different colour. Mm. Wow. Mm. Very different flavour. Almost like a, a spicy beef flavour, or tomato, spicy tomato. Mmm. Baked, not fried. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's spicy tomato rather than flaming hot. It has a real tomato -y flavor to it. Maybe that's what they were before was tomato flavored. But rather than being hot, it tastes more like um, tomato. Well, I guess that's where the coloring's coming from as well. Hmm. Interesting. And last but not least, roast beef. Which, if I remember, was actually quite a darker crisp, yeah? So slightly darker. And tasted like sort of beef-flavoured Walker's crisps. Mmm. Which it does. Mmm. Let's have a look how healthy these things are for you. Well, they're 13% sugar. Not uh, well, very little sugar actually, mostly starch. Uh, they're five percent fat. Uh, well, no, eight percent. Okay. Oh no, they're twenty-five percent fat. Wow, these are like two and a half times worse for you than a Pringle. They're twenty-five percent fat. Wow, look at that. I was getting it wrong there. Wow. Fifty-nine percent carbohydrates and very little of anything else. Um, puffs of sugar and grease, basically, or starch and grease. It still tastes great, though. Such small serving size, 22 grams, it's not really going to do you much damage, is it? Really do like the flavours, though. They're really good. They complement each other. They're different enough that you can tell the difference, but they're, they are similar enough that you know you're eating the same crisp. Mmm.
I do remember them tasting a lot stronger when I was a kid, especially the beef ones. That's quite weak. Out of all three, my favourite is this one. Pickled onion, definitely the winner for me. Mm. It's got that sharp acidic flavour that I like from uh, vinegar flavoured crisp, and it's uh, the onion flavour is just interesting. Mm. It genuinely does taste like pickled onion, which is a strange enough flavoured crisp for anyone. Mm. I got them in this massive multi pack. See? Well, thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And uh, please, if you're not already subscribed, please think of subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye.